Yo, welcome back to my channel. Or oh, welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel. I am Aubrey Love. Hello, nice to meet you. So if you're new, you haven't subscribed, so I'm going to give you a chance to go ahead and do that. Yeah, good job. Appreciate it. Now you're part of the fam, man. All hearts out, all love to you. Um, today we're gonna be looking at the most expensive, eh, the most expensive neighborhoods in London. In London, we're gonna be looking at the most expensive neighborhoods in London. How y'all think that was? If that was a good little accent, you dropped that in the comments. But yeah, we're gonna be checking it out. Um, I like looking at expenses. So I'll be looking at castles and stuff all the time for no reason. That's just something I'm into. So hopefully. We see some cool stuff. If you're going to earn like a millionaire, you should live like it too. And nothing announces your status like a good postcode. And to make the search for your future home easier, we've done a little research for you. you it got should me. be no surprise that London is one of the most expensive cities to live in in the world. Rivaling New York, Greater London covers an area of 607 square miles and has a population of 9 million and counting. And amongst some of the poshest neighborhoods in the city, Knightsbridge stands out as the most desirable. For nice the views offers and its perfect location. The Knightsbridge Road itself, running from Sloan Street to Hyde Park Corner, is the most expensive residential street in the whole of London. But look at the, you see these little spots right here? Like, you might be in, the, like, the nicest spot in London, but these don't even look like nice little apartments. I hope he shows the inside, because the outside just not clean. Not fresh. Oh, y'all see the Canadian flag over there? Oh, I see the United States. Y'all see the United States flag right there? I see them boys hardly home, but always ripping. London, with an average sold price of 15.6 million pounds, more than 33 times the cost of an average London home. Dang. Even going out to pick up some milk is a gilded experience, thanks to the grand collections of five-star hotels, embassies, and designer boutiques selling everything from luxury watches to Ferraris. Before we take a deeper look at one of the most expensive hey, neighborhoods the King in the Luxury. UK, I hope make they sure you subscribe to the King Luxury videos. channel. Located in the London boroughs of Westminster and Kensington and Chelsea, Knightsbridge is the site of stately homes and clubs, the famous Hyde Park and Harrods. It's the home to likes of David and Victoria Beckham, Kylie Minogue, two members of the Rolling Stones, and many more. But it wasn't always the symbol of luxury and sophistication it is now. Believe it or not, this area was quite cut off from London. It fell awkwardly between four parishes and couldn't develop at the same pace as the rest of the city, which also led to it having a bad reputation in the 17th and 18th centuries as a haunt for highwaymen and rogues. It wasn't until the late 18th and 19th century that the development of Knightsbridge began. The Knightsbridge Paving Act in 1790 pushed the improvement of the awful roads, and interestingly, it came about only because women sometimes injured themselves when walking in the area. Land to build buildings became scarce everywhere else, so development soon moved into Knightsbridge. And soon enough, the boundaries disappeared okay, this looks in the nice. area. All right, all right, this, all right. If you stand somewhere like this, this, this looks good. But the other, the other places he's showing us don't look like fancy. Now, fifteen stacks of stands, fifteen million stacks to say inside of London, and then and somewhere like this. I was like, all right, cool. You know, I'm in the mix. I saw a Ferrari store over there. You got the Porsche over there. You know, it's like you're on Rodeo Drive, but you stay on Rodeo Drive. You know what I mean? I, I don't even know what I mean. I don't got money like that, but I, I imagine that's what it's like. Found its own identity. The continued development helped to make it feel like a part of London. What gave it more prestige was the opening of Harvey Nichols and Harrods, as well as several embassies moving Boy, in, making Nichols it a Nichols. highly desirable location. So, needless to say, living here isn't just for anyone. Yeah, the population yeah. in Knightsbridge is a little over 25000 and the average household income here is $75,000. Okay. Not surprising, given a sizable chunk of this population are white-collar workers. If you want to live right next to Harrods, an example of prime real estate is one Hans Crescent, a striking red brick residence whose units were all snapped up within 90 minutes of when it first became available. Mm. Apartment availability oh, here, nice really in anywhere in okay. Knightsbridge, is pretty scarce. But those those who manage to grab it are lucky. The amenities in one Hans Crescent include 24-hour concierge service, full mm. security, a private lift, and more. A two-bedroom apartment in this property will cost you $2.6 million and comes fully furnished. If you want to be even closer... Hey, yo, look, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. $2.6 million? 
I ain't standing in no apartment. Oh, sir. A church <laughs> behind Harrods was recently refurbished into a seven-bedroom oh. house with a swimming pool and is going for $57 million Golly. right now. It has 40-foot ceilings and oak pillars, oh, spans nice. over 12,000 feet, and comes fully equipped with a car park, gym, sauna, steam room, an entertainment sauna. room, a massage room, and an office. There are many properties like these in nice the area, one. each one more stunning and luxurious than the last. Knightsbridge is home to one of the most prestigious residential developments in the world, One Hyde Park. One Hyde Park is a symbol of 21st century luxury now in these, London. Without these look nice right here, though. These look nice. These fresh. Showing up the surrounding traditional architecture. It costed 1.56 billion U.S. dollars to develop, and it ties together Hyde Park and Knightsbridge. Renting or buying an apartment in this complex gives you a view of both on either side of your home. The average price of a property here is about $3.6 million, and it boasts a swimming pool, a cinema, a temperature-controlled wine cellar, saunas, steam rooms, a squash court, a golf simulator, and a valet service. But if you want the very best of one Hyde Park, the penthouse suite in their tallest unit comes to $295 million. Bro, where, Get a where is he getting his money from? Kensington Palace, home to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and some other members of the royal family. Near the gardens of this palace, you'll find a street often referred to as the Billionaire's Row. Famous residents of this tree-lined street include Roman Abramovich, Tamara Ecclestone, the Sultan of Brunei, and some prominent members of the Saudi royal family. It's not just a matter of the houses and having wealthy neighbors. Of course, the property here is the best London has to offer, but there's a world of culture outside your home and Harrods. This neighborhood is full of museums, the most famous one being the Natural History Museum. You can unwind in some of the biggest parks in the city and be close to major transport links. You really will want for nothing here. Since 2019, property prices in London have seen a 1% rise. The luxury properties have seen a 10% rise. But buyers obviously don't seem deterred by this. Early this year, Chung Q, a Chinese property magnet, put down $200 million for a mansion in Rutland Gate mm. in Knightsbridge, which makes it the most expensive property sold in the United Kingdom. This was proof that the London market, which was admittedly suffering for a while due to political strains, was making a comeback. In the last six months, alone 27 homes in Knightsbridge have been sold for an average price of four all these spots look nice on the inside but I, like they just not flash on the outside like for 200 200 million to just stay in London you can stay somewhere like you can get like a really 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 nice nice house for half the price and just not be in London. But if you want to stay in London, I guess. This is the most dollars, expensive neighborhood in London. Rise like. from 2019. Things were relatively quiet in the market due to the coronavirus pandemic lockdown, but it's clear to see it has been completely halted. Ooh. After the lockdown ended, Jeez. it bounced back fairly quickly, and it looks like the sales in 2020 will make up for the decline in 2019. Segro Group in UK made sales worth $552 million, and many other real estate companies have done quite well for themselves, too. Knightsbridge attracts tourists from around the world thanks to its unique features and how it caters to the exclusive lifestyle of the wealthy, which is all the more reason to snap up some prime property here. The housing market is always unpredictable, but a home in the poshest neighborhood in London promises more stability in the long run for its fun. owners. I like that. So, are you going to move into this neighborhood? Look, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I wouldn't have spent none of that money to live in an expensive neighborhood in London. But I ain't got it, so I don't know what I would do if I had it. So I'm not going to hold myself to, you know what I'm saying, how I feel when I don't got it for when I do got it. Because I'm going to have it eventually. But these don't like, like, they just like old buildings and they renovate the inside. There was like one, the one modern looking place that I liked. But, um, yeah, that's it. I don't like, I don't like these old, I don't want to stand on old looking buildings. Oh, look at the design from 1894. It's 2021, man. I'm trying to be up, you know, styling and profile. Everything a little glossy, a little shiny. But that's just me. You know, how how would you want to stay if you was living in the most expensive neighborhood in London, man? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Because, um, you know, my opinion's not always right. It's usually um, different from everybody else's. It ain't wrong, but it ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, you, you, I can't say that you're going to think it's right. So, tell me what you think. Leave a comment below about what you thought about the most expensive neighborhoods in London and what you live in them. But until next time, guys, got a blast. I will be responding to all comments, so comment!